I woke up dazed in the back of a Humvee. It was the middle of the day and the AC was still broken. Whatever weird, crazy dream I was having was gone and I was still in the hell known as 29 Palms. We weren't going fast enough to make the heat go anywhere. I still kept my head close to the window and stared off mindlessly. Our self-chosen metallic prison hurled itself farther and farther into the desert, kicking up dust as it went. Hey, look up ahead on our right. There's someone walking, said Gomez, who was in the back seat with me. We slowed down. A lone figure stumbled slowly forward with her head downwards. Details emerged, and I realized it was a man. Uh, I've heard stories about random scavengers and drugged-out roamers, but I didn't think they were ever true. Pretty soon, he stopped moving and simply stared at us as we passed. He had short, mangy grey hair and wrinkled, leathery skin. Somewhere in the depths of his dark eye sockets, there might have been eyes, but I didn't see them. He wore a ragged black shirt and old shorts. All he did was stare at us as we passed, without emotion or gesture. A few guys joked around, but I think we were all a bit nervous of who the hell that was. After an hour or so, we arrived at our destination and began to set up a complex defense on a flat piece of land. By the time 2am came around, we'd finished building our defensive perimeter. Machine guns and mortars were dug in, and we had tanks off to our flanks. I thought for a second, <laughs> no one is taking our flat piece of land. And just as I thought that, the wind picked up and blew sand into my face. I took the first hour of watch, while the other two guys slept for a bit. There probably wasn't going to be anyone attacking us tonight, but good habits win wars, or something like that. After an hour of being blasted by the sand, I emerged from my hole to wake the next guy up. I found one guy, but I didn't see the other. He was probably behind a rock or dune or something. I woke up the one guy I saw, and he grudgingly put his gear on. He probably knows where the other guy is. So, I got inside my sleeping bag and fell asleep instantly. Pretty soon, someone was shaking me awake. I checked my watch and realized I'd only been asleep for an hour. What the hell are you waking me up for? Go wake up Gomez! Man, I can't fucking find him. I've been looking for him for ten minutes. He's not here. Fucking boot. I get out of my sleeping bag and begin getting dressed. Gomez couldn't have gone very far. I spent about five minutes checking the surrounding dunes of sand for him and came up with nothing. I checked his bag and his sleeping bag was definitely gone. So, he was somewhere. Pretty soon, everyone was awake and we were in one big line combing the desert for this guy in the early morning light. We'd gone about a kilometer from our original spot, and people began to just believe that he'd run away at this point. We went a little further, where there was a small mountainside that we grudgingly climbed. When we got to the top, people jokingly checked under each and every rock. Hey Gomez, are you under here? as some lance corporal lifted up a small boulder. <laughs> he wasn't under any of them. As we were coming down the other side of it, we noticed there was a small opening in one of the rock faces that resembled a very old mineshaft entrance. Most of the old mines had been barred up, but this one wasn't for some reason. We made a quick decision that a handful of us would quickly check the place out while the other marines headed back. Just to be sure, right? I was the first one in. It was definitely a very old mine shaft. Whatever wood that was left was rotting into dust. That gave me anxiety, but we crept forward slowly with our lights as bright as possible. 
as I creeped farther and farther into the cave. I noticed it was a lot cooler inside, which was nice, but it gave me a strange vibe. Eventually, we got to a split in the cave. Two of us went left, and two of us went right. <laughs> Typical horror situation, yeah? Well, I ended up going right, and was quickly disappointed with a dead end, maybe 15 meters in. As I was walking back, I heard some cursing and people struggling about on the left side of the cave. One marine was on the ground, unconscious, and Gomez, our Houdini of a marine, was on top of the other one. He was in a fully primal fight-or-flight mode. I got there just in time, as Gomez picked up a rock to smash the other guy's head in. He just wouldn't snap out of it. Not the Gomez we knew anymore. It took the three of us an exhaustingly long time to finally choke him out. We caught our breath for a minute, before we slowly dragged him and our other unconscious friend out. When we started to see the entrance of the cave, I saw the ragged, weathered, and dark figure I'd seen on the road earlier. <sighs> it's too late, said the wickedly evil voice. I woke up, dazed, in the back of a Humvee. It was the middle of the day, and the AC was still broken. Whatever weird, crazy dream I was having was gone and I was still in the hell known as Twenty Nine Palms. We weren't going fast enough to make the heat go anywhere, but I still kept my head close to the window and stared off mindlessly. Our self-chosen, metallic prison hurled itself farther and farther into the desert, kicking up dust as it went. I looked to the left, and there was an empty seat. Confused, I asked, where did Gomez go? Who the fuck is Gomez? Well, I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am. Oof, another really creepy episode there. Well, let me know what you think in the comments below the vid. And as ever, I will really try to get back to as many of you as I can. Been really crazy busy recently and haven't been able to leave as many comments as I'd like, but I'll do my best, I promise. <laughs> okay, everyone, I'll be back again on Friday with another creepy tale for you. Till then, you all have sweet dreams, okay? Bye-bye. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your time listening to me. Now, if you enjoyed the Dr. Creepin experience, then come find me on Facebook. Come chat with me on Twitter. Listen to the background music and download it if you like on SoundCloud. Drop by the store, pick up a t-shirt. And, importantly, if you've got a story you'd like me to read, send it to Dr. Creepin's vault, the subreddit I set up so that I could read your stories. Now, Looking forward to seeing you all again real soon, so come check me out, okay? <laughs> <laughs>